Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see my pasta recipe. I actually got this recipe from my aunt. It's one of those if you're somewhere, you're at a party and you have this really good um, salad or something like that, it's worth it to ask like, can I have this recipe? Because those are my best recipes, I swear. They're not Pinterest ones, they're just from like people or parties that I've gone to that I'm like, hey, can you show this recipe? Because I really want to make that again. So this was actually her pasta recipe and I love it. It's always a crowd pleaser. Everybody likes it. Um, I've done it for work potlucks. Um, I've done it for like family barbecues. It's just an easy, um, just an easy pasta recipe and really like who doesn't like a pasta salad? So I'll show you that my touches that I put into it. So I'm actually making a really big batch because I'm taking it to church for a lot of women. There's about 40 women coming to this fundraiser. And so my friend asked me to make this. Um, so I'm, that's why I have two boxes, but usually I only have the one box of bow tie pasta. I really wanted to do the small bow tie pastas. I thought that'd be really cute, but I just grabbed these. I want to do Colby Jack cheese, and I usually buy the block of it, and I cut it in half, and I just cut it into little um, squares. Well, my Walmart, I, they didn't have block cheese. I don't know what's going on with Walmart. But so I got the stick kind of cheese that's supposed to be kind of like a string stick cheese. And, but it's Colby Jack and it will work for me and then we'll have leftovers and me and Ryan can snack on that. This is hard, it's the hard salami. I always go to Walmart and get this same kind. I actually was at a different grocery store and almost tried a different one and I said, no, no, no. I gotta go back to my Walmart and get that same kind. And I usually just cut these uh, kind of two lines here, one line here to make little, little pieces. But my aunt specifically told me to get the hard salami. And I always just use this one pack. I usually buy two and sometimes I'll add it in if I know I'm making it for lots of men or something like that. Uh, one pack of the grape tomatoes. And these are my favorite grape tomatoes. And then uh, usually you would just use one cucumber. I'm gonna see about putting in two and how it goes. This is my secret ingredient, the uh, Olive Garden Signature Italian Dressing. I use this because I heard one of my girlfriends talking about a pasta salad at a party and they said, you know what was so good about that? And it was the Italian dressing. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna try that in my pasta salad and I always have tried that now and I've never gone back. So these items usually cost somewhere between $15 and $20, depending on what grocery store you use, how good of a deal you can get. And it's just because the cheese, cheese is a little bit expensive, salami is a little bit expensive. I mean, those two things are usually about $5. And so I always budget about $20. When somebody asks me to bring something, I always think in the back of my head, okay, I gotta bring something in a month um, and I'll budget about $20 to bring whatever I need to bring. And so this is a quick, easy thing to bring that is well under the $20. I wanna say it's probably more like 15, but it's definitely a crowd pleaser for not a lot of money. is bubbling over here I wanted to tell you guys two more things my aunt when she gave me the recipe uh, she always put red onion in it and usually if I have it um, I 
chop up about half of a red egg in and I put it in there and I chop it up really fine and she also puts black olives in there which are kind of like our uh, kind of a family favorite in our family but I know when I make it for parties a lot of people don't like black olives so usually if I'm making it for other people I admit the black olives unless I'm making it for a family thing I usually though put in the red onion and for some reason I don't know what I was thinking yesterday, but I just forgot. All right guys, this is my other big tip with this pasta salad, or actually with any salad, if you want to make it pretty, put it in a big, huge bowl. Mix it up, then put it in your pretty bowl. If you guys can see, but I'm gonna serve it in this really pretty scalloped edge glass bowl. But I'm gonna mix it in this one. At this point, all you're going to do is you're going to mix everything together. So everything that we've chopped up, plus the pasta, and about half of the bottle of salad dressing. So, and I just kind of put it in there and see how it goes. Sometimes I put more, sometimes I put less, and it's really how soupy you want it, I guess you could say. So, but I usually do about half the bottle. And this is like the regular size bottle, and they have a bigger bottle. So this bottle is about 16 fluid ounces, so I, I know for sure I at least use 8 ounces. So this is what it looks like when I threw everything in. And now we're going to put our Italian seeds uh, dressing on. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's really colorful and fun. You can use any kind of noodles you want. The bow ties are my favorite in this. But you can really use whichever noodles are fun for you. So here it is, guys, in my pretty bowl. And I'm going to put this plastic wrap over it, get it in my refrigerator, and I'm going to let it chill for as long as I possibly can. I'm doing it for about two hours today. I would say try to do it for about two hours, um, if not longer. And the more this marinates, the more the dressing is going to get into those noodles and taste really good. And here it is, chilling in my fridge. Thank you guys for coming over and hanging out with me today. I hope you like this pasta salad recipe. Let me know um, what your favorite things to add in pasta salad are. This was just a pure luck family recipe that I got and that I've been making for years now. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button and those bell notifications so you know every time I put up a video, I am trying to put up content as fast as I can make it. So I will see you guys in the next brand new video. Bye!